Hey everybody, welcome back. So glad you're here with me today. Today I am giving you my three month update in my year long project 20 by 2020 that I'm doing with Lena and Andrea. I will leave their links down below when they post for when they post their videos. And um silly me story. <laughs> I was in my I don't know why, but in my head, I was thinking 20 by 2020, I was thinking it was going this year and next year. So that's why some of the products are like full size, not done yet. Whew, big mistake. Because then when Lena updated, I was like, why would I update every month if it's a two year project? Well, <laughs> it's a year project because duh, you finish it by 2020, not in 2020. So I'm gonna get through some of these. Some of these might I might not get through through the whole year, and I'll point that out when I show them to you. But we'll start off with the Jeffree Star Lip Scrub in Orange Gummy Bear. Now I actually I got curious and like dug my finger down to see where the bottom was, and it is pretty deep, like. You won't be able to see it, and I really don't. Mm, tasty. I really don't want to stick my finger down to the bottom again, but you could get an idea. I'm getting like a dent in there, and like I could see me. I envision me being done this one probably by the end of summer, maybe before. <clears throat> if not. That's okay, but I think I will. As long as I don't, like, open up another one of his lip scrubs, I'll be good. Because, like, sometimes I like variety, you know. <laughs> uh, number two is Color Color Pop No Filter Foundation. I can't find... I, I hold it up to the light, and I cannot tell where it is at all. I've been using it in conjunction with the next product that's in here, the NYX uh, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Um, I use these together right now because neither of them match me. This is too dark, this is too light. In the summer, I'll be using this more because I will go out in the sun. And I can't wait for that. <laughs> I'm a happier person. But, like, either of them are great. Like, I love this shit. Um, but I can see me possibly getting them both done. Or at least this one by uh, the end of the year. Next is the NYX Glitter Glue. I don't know if I'll get through this. It's such a little product, but you use such little. And I'm probably... I can't guess. There's too much air, and if I squeeze product, it's going to go everywhere um, that you use. But I'm using a lot of... Sh I used it today. I used it this morning, and then I kind of touched up before I turned you on. Uh, but I had no idea where that... How, like, where I stand with that. <laughs> now, this is a product I do not think I will finish... Uh, before the end of the year and it is the formula 1006 be berry fresh balancing mud mask it's an awesome awesome mask I just haven't been using it lately I haven't been masking lately and I should uh, maybe I'll do it tonight I always like pull out I'm like oh I should be using this but it'd be great to, it's it's a great mask it smells awesome it's cheap for a mask that like actually performs well but like right by the E is where we're at with it so who knows uh, number six is six is actually in my bathroom and I'm not even halfway through it yet I do not think there's a possibility I could be halfway through it but it's the not your mother's naturals Royal Honey and Desert Kalahari Melon Mouthful Leave-In Conditioner. 
I've been using it on and off because I had a sample, well, I still have the sample of the Way leave-in conditioner, which I love. Like, oof, I love it. But then I will use up the rest of the Desert long name. Uh, number seven, Cover FX Primer. I could see myself being done with this, like, in the next month or two. But that's where I am. And then Essence Make Me Brow. You never know when one of these dies until you are, like, going to do your brows and you're like, oh, shit, it's dead. So that's probably what's going to happen and then I'll tell you. Uh, the number nine is ColourPop Finesse Lip Gloss. It's MIA right now. And if it's MIA in another three months, I'll write it off as a declutter, okay? Because I cannot find it for the life of me right now. But I love it. And I think they're discontinuing it, which sucks. But I could probably find similar ones, or I probably do own similar ones. Uh, number 10 is Eliza Vivecca, Witch Piggy Hell Pore Bifida Pore, Bifida Pore Ampule. Woo! We are here with it. That's so, it's like halfway, pretty much. Let me see. Yeah, it's a little bit above halfway. But see, look at your piggy. <laughs> Alright. And I... I just haven't been using it because I've been testing out some other essences and creams. But I definitely have like used it once in a while to try to recharge and stuff. Uh, next is ColourPop Boy Band. I'll be honest with you, I haven't used it. There will be no movement on this. <laughs> I might have used I might have used it once. I can't remember. But I know I have not reached for it. I've been playing with all this other makeup I've got. So, I usually... It would look good with this lip. Might have found a new look. A new, like, go-to. One of those quick ones. <clears throat> but, no, it hasn't moved. And I'm okay with that. Because those are hard to finish. And, like, last year you saw me, like, digging and trying my best to finish them. And now I'm just like, yeah. Not gonna lose sleep over it. Next is Becca Moonstone. My goal for this is I know I'm not gonna finish it. It's a highlight. And even though it's so small in a sample, like there's a dent in it. That's about it. Hold on. There's like a dent in it. That's it. And uh it is a great golden highlight. But I've been getting new highlights from Pretty Sweet Face. I've been getting them in my um, Ipsy. And, like, I like trying them out. So, yeah. Um, next is First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Sample Tube. I think this is a sample. And we are, like, right there on the bottle. So, halfway it looks like, or a little bit below halfway it feels like. Then there is Batiste Dry Shampoo. Can you hear it? It's, you can't tell on these either, but it sounds like I have like a little more than a fourth left, I would say. So, <clears throat> next is Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy Roller Ball. And I haven't made much progress on this. We're kind of still at the same spot. But it will probably change in the summer. Because I wear, tend to wear that more in the summer. I don't know why. And um, the next one is Ari by Ariana Grande. And that's where I'm at. Like right there where that line is. So that is a lot. Okay. Like... That's about that much of the bottle. Like, 
I don't know, but I love it. And I'm hooked on it right now. I've been putting it on like every time I go out this winter, which isn't a lot, but when I want something besides a body spray, this is usually what I put on because I absolutely am in love with it right now. Then there is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is like one of those sample ones. We are at that black line, I think. It's kind of squished everywhere, you know, kind of like when you do the toothpaste, but it's about there when I tried squishing it down without getting product everywhere. So this one will be finished soon. <clears throat> um, number 18, Blood Orange Conditioner from Nightwing Bath and Body. And that is in my shower because obviously I am currently using it. Um, there's about a fourth left or a little more than a fourth because it was a huge tub and I'm probably going to have to order some in like maybe, a, I want to say a month or two. So I should be done with it. I'll definitely be done with it before summer. Uh, 19 was Sam, Santuzma. Sugar Scrub from Wonderberry Wax. And I had to, we'll put that in the declutter because I had to throw it away because I had it in the shower and it ended up getting too much water in it. And if you know, indie products and water are not good. So that plus how old it was, it started to get rank and I was like, nope, ain't doing this. So I tossed it. And it kind of sucked because I love the smell. I love the feel. And it was a gift. So. <laughs> um, and number 20 is Zany Laney Vicious Trollop. I just saw it. I just sprayed it the other day. And. I know I have it. There we go. I didn't mark this. I should have. But I will now. I hate writing on the artwork, but that's the only time you'll see it. It's right there. And I'm going to start using this again on my sheets and stuff. I've been getting kind of bored with what I've been spraying on them lately. I, like I said, I like to change things up. So maybe this will relax me and I'll chill the freak out a little. So that's all I can hope for. Um, I hope you enjoyed my update and seeing the progress I've made and I just hope you're doing well and I'll link the other girls down below and you should check them out because they are awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!